Phil's now going to demonstrate how to assemble the sheep handler for Bioclip. Firstly, using the steering handles on the ramp end of the sheep handler, Phil walks the handler into position for use. He then assembles the ramp base onto the handler. Next, refine the position of the handler and the ramp base to the sheep yards. Remove the two arc clips and the leg lock pins from the legs on one side of the handler. Pull the legs out as far as possible, then adjust the length of the legs to suit the job. Replace the leg lock pins and the R clips. Once both pins are in place, pull the leg, leg assembly out and, and place the legs on the ground. The next step is to lift the side of the handler until the legs are off the ground. In doing so, the legs will lock into position when you lower the legs again. We now repeat this process on the other side. We remove the two R clips and leg lock pins from the legs on this side. Pull the legs out as far as possible and adjust the length of the legs. We then replace the leg lock pins and the R clips. The legs are then pulled out as far as possible and placed on the ground. Once again, we lift the handler. lower the sheep handler and the legs will lock into position. The next step is to attach the ramp fences. These simply lock into position in the holes indicated. Just ensure to have the timber sides on the inside of the ramp. The next, the next step is to un undo the frame locking bolts and, and pull the scoop mount out from the sheep crate. The next step is select the appropriate size scoop or the harvest trough for the required job and lock it onto the scoop mount. With the two scoop mounting frame locking bolts undone, move the scoop mounting frame and the scoop or harvest trough away from the door until the top of the door is level with the wall of the scoop or trough. Lock the two scoop mounting frame locking bolts. You may wish to change this position to suit your needs, but this is a reasonable starting point. The sheep decoy
the front panel. And finally, the roof to suit the operating circumstances that you're in.